Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Let us squad today? We are doing so many things. First off, I want to go ahead and say I won the Golden Bolt. If you didn't see the announcement or the community post that I did, I did win the Golden Bolt for Video Creator of the Year. So thank you guys so much. Back to back two years in a row is insane, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, secondly, I uploaded the video yesterday, so you probably already saw it, but I did win the Creator Cup as well. It got $25,000 for the charity called Able Gamers. Thirdly, every single subscriber I get in the year 2022, I'm going to be donating 10 cents to charity. So at the end of the year, I'll see how many subs I got, whether it be 1K to, you know, 100K. Um, and making that change and, and donating that to charity. So subbing to me is kind of a pseudo donation to charity at this point. <clears throat> um, and other than that, we are going to get into the video. Basically today's video, we are doing none other than the SWC, which has just concluded. And not only the SWC, we're not doing just some random SWC build. We are doing Yarkhar's build. He uh, uh, won World's MVP. And actually played Kamazots in the World Championship. It's pretty amazing. The Leviathans won. That man got his third ring in a row. It, I mean, first off, third ring in general, never been done. Three in a row, really never been done. So that's crazy. And um Yeah, so we're doing that. Yo, what's going on, boys? How you doing? Kamazots game, SWC build. And I mean, this is just how we do it. Fighting Aiden moment on a diamond set. This man only plays set, and I I'm allowed to say that because He's a fan of mine, and he told me that he only plays sets, so, <laughs> so I'm allowed to say it. I'm allowed to speak those words. Um, <clears throat> that being said, at one point and everything, let me tab over, tell you guys the build. You already have seen it, probably. I would have put it in the intro, but for me, it is uh, Warrior's Axe, Blackthorn Hammer, Transcendence, Cad Shield. Surprising pick up there. Um, Witchblade. He never got his six item because they won the game too quick. However, if it comes down to me needing a six item, I'll figure it out. That did 68 damage. You quite literally will never win this fight. I have Warrior's Axe, and you don't scare me. And actually, he's just giving me this buff. In my opinion, a pretty poor decision because I have no bait. I have no secure here. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to lower it down. Kill it with my two so I get that extra stack of my passive. And I'm going to max my one because I'm going to be, obviously, like I said, doing a solo lane build. So I'm going to be much more tank oriented and much less damage oriented. So leveling my one instead of my two here is going to give me that power I need in order to still be able to compete with a da boy the boy set all right let's jump over boom hit the two and clear very casually and i'm actually just gonna back here I'm not gonna pop any pots not gonna do anything crazy just gonna back get this I'll actually sell one of my pots too, because I, I don't think I die if he ults me. I think I just go up in the air. And with the new uh with the new Kamazots alt buff, which I assume is why we saw him played in SWC so much, but with the new Kamazots buff, I'm uh instantly immune to any amount of damage. So basically what I'm saying is you don't scare me and you can't kill me. <clears throat> so let's see what he is what his answer is to that sentiment. I am doing way too much damage for my boy. 
You better run. You are so close to being murdered. My goodness. All right, fine. All right, fine, I'll back. Please don't get here fast enough to stop my back, and he didn't, perfect. So now I grab my Blackthorn Hammer and one of my potions. So let me tab out real quick and check that build. Transcendence is next. So now that I have an adequate 400 HP and 40 power, I'm gonna go into some more power, make sure that just in case he thought that he could have fun this game, we stop that immediately. Just in case he decided that, uh, I'm thinking I might have fun this game. Really got to cut that thought process immediately. Immediately. And his blue is going to be up the same time my red is. Yes, I said my red because no one's taking it from me. All right. Hitting abilities is important, apparently. Who would have guessed? <clears throat> Not today, not today. Red soon. Red soon. Keep an eye on it. Red now, actually. Getting an extra 25 power from my... From my one. Man, just hitting... Just hitting an ability... Chunks him so much. Obviously, I want to use my two on the buff so I can refresh my passive. It's a big part. Amazots. All right. We'll go ahead and back here. There's not much I'm waiting on, so... Go back, pick up tier one transcendence. He got a full beat stick. All right. I am quite healy, especially because I'm going to go cad shield in this game. <clears throat> That's okay. I wonder if he wants to come over here. No, you don't care about it? That's okay. You, like, literally never win any of these fights. Okay. Now, he probably wants to alt me. Not dumb. So... I want to keep a wall that can disengage me close, like a blue buff wall. All right, my, my jump there was pretty idi idiotic, because he could have killed me pretty easily. Holy Jesus. My one hit so hard. I was expecting that to hit, but I was not expecting that to kill. And yet here we are with a dead set. You can count on me okay. My uh my warrior's blessing actually killed him. Warrior's axe, sorry, not blessing. Those are long gone. <laughs> I actually hit him for 40. Pretty good. Oh, I'm clear and wave. Okay, I definitely should not have jumped on him. Actually, wait just a second. May be able to kill here. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Live through his little onslaught of damage. And I say little, but it was actually a lot of damage. We lived through it. We're able to turn because he got just a little bit too aggressive. On his set alt. He got just a little bit too aggressive. Thinking he was going to slay me into the ground with that set alt. Which, you know, in his defense, most of the time, if you set alt and they can't get away, you do slam them in the ground. So, you know, fair enough to him. If you're backing, actually, I will take your blue. Not backing, actually.
I wanted to see if I could get his blue, but he waited. He waited patiently. Hello. I missed. Doesn't matter too much because of how much sustain I have and how tanky I am. So I can kind of just walk through towers and almost straight up ignore the fact that they exist. Oh, he's going to take my blue. Might die for it, though. Okay. I was uh, expecting him to stay near the wall in the hopes that he could jump over it once he got his two back, but he actually ran back towards my Phoenix to get away from my alt. I don't think the damage in my alt is enough to scare him like that. So I think that was a bit of a misplay by his part to run like that, but I mean, hey, it helps me out, right? So we take those. All right. He's got beat stick, so I am okay with not letting him hit me for now while I heal up. <clears throat> I'm actually down to uh, his back here. Okay. Watch for the sun's rise at dawn. Wow, I did a ton of damage to him just now. My goodness. You really should not be messing. You really should not be messing. Alright, let's back out. What's my next item? It's the CAD shield. The CAD shield. For that, I'll go thorns also. 35 fizz protection. 30 fizz power, 20% increased healing. It's pretty good. It's not astronomically insane like it is in Conquest, just because of the fact that there's only one dude, and that magic defense is not going to be doing anything for me, but it's still pretty good. You literally do not scare me at all. Perfect gameplay. Literally perfect. Used both relics in order to survive, but not only survive, kind of thrive. I got the kill. Got my red buff. And it's super, super greedy to go for his blue here. I was going to say, so I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it. It's, it's a little bit too spooky for me. All right. So we go CAD shield complete, and now we're going into a witch blade. As you see, I have 229 power. Only 101 defense. But that defense comes with an increase of 20% of my healing. Which almost negates his beat stick. So, very nice. Your middle tower is under <clears throat> and then after Witchblade, that's where things get a little weird. He didn't get a 6 item. Because they won the game already. So what I'm going to have to do is improvise. Not sure how good it's going to be, but we'll see. I'm going to buy probably like, I don't know, like a void shield is what I would assume that you would go in, in a solo lane position here. Obviously very tank forward. But you're not only going tanky items. You're, you're bruisering a little bit. Man, missing sucks. He ulted. That's a weird ult. That is a weird ult. Okay. Nope. You are not coming close to this wave. Get away. You don't scare me. 
I am gonna kill you. As long as you know that, you're okay in my book. There we go. You knew it was a risk. You knew it was a risk to go for the wave. And you did it anyways. So for that, I applaud you. But also, sometimes you just shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? I am very, very healthy now. I have so much HP. 2,500, in fact. And um, my cooldown reduction is at a massive 20%. So maybe you would go Breastplate of Valor last item. Cap off your cooldown. And just have a solid overall... Like, you actually don't scare me. You actually don't. Okay. Hello? I missed my two. I could have killed him if I didn't whiff my two just now. Which upsets me. More than you'll ever know. It's okay. We're feeling pretty good. I think... Okay, sorry. I think as a solo lane Kamazots, you you clearly care about the cooldown. You got 20% of it. I'm just going to take this. I am very much not scared. Thank you for the blue buff. Uh, but yeah, as a solo lane Kamazots, you probably are getting that max cooldown. And you are just doing so much damage here. That really does not compete. He actually does not compete. He's going into a Crusher now. Or maybe a Titan's Bane. Either way, I don't think it's the item he should go. I honestly think he should go some more defense. Alright, we're doing Bull Demon. Might get stolen. It's just something I'm going to have to live with if, if it happens. It does not. We're safe. And again, making sure I'm refreshing my passive whenever I can. I'm pretty safe. So, <clears throat> I don't really need the back to finish a next item. Either Breastplate or Void Shield is definitely what I'm going to go for. It fits the theme of the solo lane, as well as uh, is pretty prominent. You will literally never win this fight. I can stand there while a set is punching me in the head. Be like, okay, do it. And then walk away the victor. Like walk away winning the fight, winning the next fight, winning the fight after that. No way. It's crazy. All right. I'm obviously not going to kill him here, so I'm just going to back out. I'm not going to kill him in his fountain. But I will get the Sundering Axe, which is actually what he has. Because he did get to level 20. And then I think I'll go Breastplate here, because it'll help me finish out the cooldown. Um, Sundering Axe doesn't give me any cooldown. Blackthorn gives me 10%. Transcendence actually gives me 10% too. Which play gives me 10%? Is there anything you would go... Oh, maybe a Mantle of Discord. It would finish you out. You'd have 40% cooldown. And a lot of defense. Maybe that's what he would go. Honestly? That's a good idea. He's a pro for... Well, he's not only a pro. He's a world champion for a reason. <clears throat> Alright. Respectable. Now... We should know at this point, there's almost nothing he can do to me while I sit here and just completely dumpster his titan. I just used my ult to avoid his damage. I didn't actually use it to damage him, which, you know, when I say it out loud, seems mighty disrespectful, but also is very funny. I have really nice damage here. I have really, really nice damage here. Titan, about half HP. 
with my cat <clears throat> excuse me with my cat shield i'm healing a lot so we'll keep that up all right pretty much full hp again i didn't even have to back for it I have my thorns and my shell for the next fight. And the next fight will be important because it will only happen if one, I'm killing his Titan or two, I'm killing his Phoenix. A fight will not break out for any other reason. All right, let's see if he chases me. He does. All right, since he chases, I will pop thorn and WP. All right. And there you have it, boys. GG. The world champion MVP's Kamazots build in action. Super successful. Too much damage, too much tankiness, and quite frankly, too much healing uh, on or in the time where you're not constantly fighting. So pretty crazy stuff i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to li like comment and subscribe make sure to let me know in the comments and until next time guys peace